trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. man. Six days ago, your boy posted, get a grip, why you should not be worried. Tough, but that's good because it'll give us a chance to prove ourselves and really feel good going into the playoffs. Our remaining schedule consists of the Sacramento Kings. Winning! Boston. Winning! Chicago. Winning! Toronto. Winning! You know, let me relax because it's still the regular season. We have not won nothing yet, but it was a nice win tonight against the Toronto Raptors. And before I get any further into this video, shout out to the Raptors, man. Give the Raptors ton the credit. I love Spicy P. I love Fred Van Fleet. Such a great team. The best fan base. If y'all are wondering why I'm doing that, it's because the Raptors fans hate me. We've been through this on this channel many times. I even dropped a whole video reacting to Raptors fans hate comments. But I had to get this video out tonight because the hate means I get tons of views. And your boy wanted to capitalize. Anyways, enough about the Raptors. Let's talk about the Miami Heat, baby. Now, I was actually able to only watch the second half of this game because I was watching my boys in their intramural game. Some of them got a dub. Some of them did it. But shout out to all the boys. You know who you are. But I got home just in time to see the second half where in the second half alone, scoring 23 points on seven. Seven of nine shooting from three. We got a major daddy. This is a spruce daddy alert. Oh, there was a little bit of a <clears throat> of a voice crack at the end there, but uh, but you know my boy Stu's daddy got me hype, man. Let's go. You love to see it. 23 points all in the second half. The Miami Heat were down 10 at halftime, and he was a major reason they led the charge all the way back. Another major reason was Victor Oladipo, easily his best game of the season. I'm gonna be too lazy to edit this in, so I'm gonna just show y'all now. But he did call this two days ago. He tweeted an old little highlight video of himself saying, "Remember me with all these nasty plays." So. Uh, maybe he knew he was going to get a big opportunity and maybe he knew he was going to take advantage of it because he certainly did. Victor Oladipo played amazing tonight with 21 points on 6 of 9 from 3. I believe that ties his career high and he and Max Drews hit several big shots down the stretch. Along with Kyle Lowry who had a great game in his return to Toronto, he had 16 points, 10 assists, and 6 boards. But it was nice to see Lowry get a great ovation and play very well. Also hit a couple big shots down the stretch. And I also want to shout out Tyler Hero who I didn't even realize how well-rounded his game was. He had 18 9 and 8. So he was, you know, a board and two assists away from a triple double. So shout out to him. Although he did his best to have one of the most unreal collapses at the end of the game. Basically, Toronto was playing a foul game, and I think someone inbounded to Tyler Hero and he was trying to kick it back to Lowry. And when he turned around and swung it back, he actually hit the Raptors rim with it. And the ball ended up in Fred Van Vliet's hands, who thank God missed a three, or it would have cut it to a one possession game. Uh, but that was pretty messy. So thank God for Tyler Hill for not messing it up. And thank God for playing well. But most importantly, the Heat were able to come out with a major win. Coming all the way back down from 10 at halftime on the second night of a back-to-back. -back, resting stars. Well, I was about to say resting stars Dwayne Dedman, PJ Tucker, and Jimmy. But they rested stars Jimmy Butler. And then they rested a couple other vets like Dwayne Dedman and PJ Tucker. So it was nice to see that Spolster was able to finally convince PJ Tucker to not play. Uh, actually, I don't even know if it was Spolster because he was out of this game too. He was in health and safety protocols, which is honestly kind of concerning because I don't know how much time he'll miss. Maybe it's because he had some symptoms, but he was negative and because it was in Toronto, they didn't let him play. I don't really know the full details, but I mean, I guess we'll see when they play the next game. But shout out to Chris Sphinx Cat Quinn for getting his first career win as a head coach. Uh, I say Sphinx Cat because come on right? You see the similarities, right? But shout out to the Heat because I think this was their first ever win in a game that Spolster missed. And on top of that, I just didn't expect the Heat to win tonight because they literally shot 17 of 34 from three just last night. That's 50%. They were on fire. So I figured they would come out completely dead today. And I mean, they kind of did. Obviously, they had the slow start, but the guys picked it up in the end and got a huge, huge win. Because looking at the NBA standings now, they are still in first place. Two games above the Bucks, two games above Milwaukee, two games above Philadelphia. You love to see it. And I told y'all in that last video to have the guts. Everybody's telling me, oh, yeah, every team slumps, but this team is doing it at the worst time. I said, no, they're not. I said, you got two weeks to get things figured out. And if you win out the last seven games, everybody's feeling amazing. And guess what? They're 4 0 since that video dropped. You're welcome, Heat Nation. And now we all feeling good, are we? Our next game's Tuesday in Charlotte. Take care of business. Or, low key, if Charlotte wins, that'll help their chances of being ahead of Brooklyn. Because Brooklyn is now 10. They are tied with Charlotte, but Charlotte has the tiebreaker. So, obviously, every game Charlotte wins, you know, that makes it a little bit harder for Brooklyn to jump them. And I'd love to see Brooklyn finish 10 and just miss the playoffs completely. Because if they finish 10th, they have to win two road games just to make the playoffs. And all year, everybody's saying, oh, Miami shouldn't be the first seed because then they might have to play Brooklyn and they can't beat Brooklyn. I said, what if Brooklyn doesn't even make the playoffs? 
I would just love to see. I think that'd be the funniest thing. And speaking of missing the playoffs, the San Antonio Spurs won tonight without their best player, DeJounte Murray, meaning the Los Angeles Lakers are two games back at 10. It's looking more and more like they're going to miss the playoffs, and that is just beautiful. Because also, everybody talking about, oh, the Heat's run in 2020 was a fluke, the Bubble Boys, this and that. Well, two years later, one of those teams is going to miss the play-in. Not, not even miss the playoffs, miss the play-in. The other team is first place in the East. So which one of those do you think is a fluke ESPN? W which one? That's all I want to say for this game though, man. But before we get out of here, I want to shout out my favorite comment from the last recap video. This one is from my boy Tyler who said, great team win. That's a big confidence boost and win. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate the support. That's also my homie from the basketball league that I'm in. Y'all know the one I've been talking about. We actually play tomorrow night. So we play Monday night. We want to know. So wish us luck, man. And if y'all want to see the highlights, like I say, always follow me on TikTok. We got some fire highlights like this. Shout out my boy Gabe for editing that little montage, man. But we're doing all kinds of stuff on TikTok. Check that out too. I'm trying to get to a thousand. But more importantly, if you only got time to do one thing, sub to the channel, man. We're trying to get to 2,000 over here. But if you don't want to sub to the channel, you don't got to do that either. I mean, I, I can't really tell you what to do. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike the video if you think it sucked. If you're a Raptors fan and you think I'm stupid, go ahead and comment down below. If we get enough hate comments, man, I'll do another uh, reacting to hate comments video because that one's pretty funny. So if y'all didn't watch that, go ahead and check that out too. Other than that, I'll see y'all later. I'm actually working on a Purtle video because there's a Purtle Unlimited video. Y'all know what that is. That'll be out sometime. Uh -huh. But yeah, I'll be back. Pull up in the city trying to get that dead fast. Like, do it on my own. I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill him off. Yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch. Don't offend.